Joining us now is Matthew Capucci. He's a storm chaser and senior meteorologist at My Radar. And Matthew, you flew into the eye of Hurricane Melissa in a NOAA aircraft on Sunday night. I know you described flying into the eye as mem mesmerizing and also heart sinking. Tell us more about what it was like on that flight. Yeah, definitely. It was what I would say as uh, sinisterly serene in that you're in the eye, this oasis of calm at the middle of an atmospheric whirlpool, buzzsaw winds all around you, only five miles away in any direction. And yet where I was, I could see the stars twinkling overhead. The winds were calm, the air was clear. It was weirdly peaceful and yet sobering to know that all around me, absolute chaos was beginning to manifest and unfortunately heading the direction of Jamaica. Now the eye wall itself was pretty bumpy. The eye wall is that innermost ring of winds and of course, the turbulence was throwing us up, down, left, and right. It was reminiscent of being on a roller coaster with a blindfold. Couldn't see anything given how it was nighttime. But being in the eye was an unreal experience as a meteorologist and as a scientist, but as a human, uh, very heart sinking. Yeah, and Matthew, I know you also said that the, the storm is, I think this is a quote from you, scientifically stunning and horrifying from a humanitarian standpoint. We've been talking about it all day, but, but what is your biggest concern as this thing moves over Jamaica? I think it's, it's honestly threefold. It's a multifaceted disaster. You have tornado-like winds in the eye wall, which is about 25, 30 miles wide, and that will carve a swath of high-end wind damage. Uh, really, any home that's not impeccably constructed will likely fail. Building failures will be common, uh, some reduced entirely to rubble, and then trees will be snapped, uprooted, denuded, shredded. And so the landscape won't look the same for at least 10 plus years. At the coastline, surge is coming ashore up to about 10 to almost 13 feet in some spots, and then inland up to three feet of rainfall, washing out roadways, making some routes inaccessible and really cutting off some communities. It's important to remember that disasters aren't a one-time thing. This is just the start of a very long duration disaster. And unfortunately, this will widen economic disparities and really uh, just wreak havoc, especially on such vulnerable populations. Yeah, Matthew Capucci, we really appreciate you making some time for us today. Thank you so much. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.